Hello, my name is Andy Young. I'm a Security Solutions Architect at Keysight Technologies. This session is to show you the latest features of Threat Simulator. They fall into three uh, categories, if you like. Firstly, we're going to talk about the Windows endpoint support. From that, of course, comes the second feature, which is support of MITRE ATT&CK framework. And thirdly is email support. Before I do that, just a quick reminder that Threat Simulator is Keysight's breach and attack simulation solution. It's built on 16 plus years of our security uh, test leadership. And it gives our customers the ability to attack their own network uh, in a totally safe way, thereby highlighting any gaps and misconfigurations uh, that they may have, um, as well as gaining uh, recommendations to, to mitigate from Threat Simulator. So the, the, the three uh, categories we spoke of just then, Windows Endpoint. So in the Topology tab, you might notice that there is a slightly different icon which differentiates itself from the, the others. This is the Windows uh, Endpoint icon. And these, of course, are the network agent uh, icons. So this is representing the uh, agent that sits on this particular Windows deployment that I have here. And I'm going to be running an assessment against this uh, particular um, Windows deployment here. Secondly, <clears throat> is the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So you can see under the assessment tab, we have a dedicated screen for the MITRE ATT&CK tactics. And you can see if we switch to there that this, of course, uh, emulates the, the MITRE ATT&CK uh, framework. And you can see the various different tactics in the columns. And under those, of course, are the techniques and sub-techniques. And if you wish to highlight a particular um, tactic, you could highlight, um, create an assessment from those and thereby create custom assessments. I'm going to cancel that and go to the classic assessment tab here for you. And you can see from, from here that we have uh, another use case using the MITRE ATT&CK framework. In this case, you might wish to make sure that, uh, for example, APT29 uh, might have an interest in you and you might wish to make sure that all the TTPs that they use um, against you, you have adequate defences for no gaps and, and can mitigate them. So you can, you can do that with a, a click of a button here. Um, the third thing I was going to show you is the email functionality. So let's say you wish to target an email account and you wish to make sure that it was protected from receiving any executable script. So there's a, some predefined assessments here for you with, with 16 different uh, audits within there. And you might wish to see that, that those um, are blocked by your email security gateway or policy that you, that you have defined. Uh, what I'm going to do is run an assessment that kind of brings all of that together. So under this particular group here, there's a predefined one for you. Uh, this one starts off with an enterprise email phishing attempt. That's going to be targeting an email account, which we can view during the attack uh, on this tab here. I'll show you that shortly. And that then leads on to targeting the Windows endpoints with um, remote access Trojan. Uh, it consists of a browser uh, opening up, downloading malicious uh, file. It's a compressed file. It uncompresses into a temporary directory. Uh, it then opens up files from within there. There's, there's a, a Word document, for example, that has macros uh, and an associated uh, malicious executable which leads on to the, the downloading of TeamViewer and the installation of that privilege escalation 
searching around for particular um, file types and exfiltrating them off the Windows machine. So let's run that. Uh, I click this button here, and then I have to define two things really. Firstly is the Windows endpoint, and this is the, the one that I have available to me. So I'll select that in the drop down, and then the email account, and this is the email account I wish to target. Now, all I have to do is give it a name and click add and run scenario. And of course, I could run this on a uh, scheduled basis, or I could run this daily if I required. As this initializes, I'll have to be relatively quick. Uh, I'll go to the um, email inbox here. Again, this is uh, OWA. This is me monitoring the inbox. Of course, Threat Simulator is, is doing exactly the same through the uh, agent that we've assigned through the uh, Microsoft Graph API. And we can see that we've received an email here, which um, you, I'm sure you would recognize as a phishing email. Um, not everyone does, and the, the attack continues uh, once the users uh, clicked one of these links here. So at this stage here, I need to go back to the Windows machine and we can see that the, I'm not clicking anything here, we can see that the, the browser has opened up and downloaded um, a file. That file has gone into the downloads directory. It, it's a compressed one and shortly we'll see it uh, uncompressing into a temporary directory. And from there, it will attempt to uh, access files within there. And of course, as it does that, the standard Windows uh, endpoint protection has picked that up. We would like to think that that has uh, prevented any further um, stages of the attack. Um, we can go back to Threat Simulator and see uh, where we are right now. Well, of course, the first stage, the delivery, uh, was allowed, which obviously is not such a good thing. We can look at the details, and as I say, we have the ability through the agent to query the, the email account through, through the um, MS Graph API, and from that, we're able to determine that, that actually, yes, the email was received, uh, and, and of course, we saw that through uh, OWA access as well. So, so that's not such a good thing. We will, as the attack continues, start to see these, these other stages um, initialize uh, and, until the attack is stopped. And what we expect to see here is that, that this was blocked. Uh, that's certainly what we saw on the, uh, on the Windows endpoint. And then the, the further stages, three, four and five will uh, be skipped. So we'll give that a minute to, to run that uh, or, or report that back. And then uh, if we go and look at the Windows machine as the, uh, as, as the <coughs> uh, attack finishes up, all of the kind of artifacts that were installed, downloaded onto and installed and executed as part of this assessment will be, will be cleaned up. So let's go back to Threat Simulator and wait for this uh, report to, to um, this assessment to, to report back as completed. Shouldn't take too long now. So we can see that that's uh, completed as we expected. We could go into more details. Uh, I, I won't um, do that in this in this demonstration. 
Um, and now we'll just wait for the artifacts to be cleaned up and that will conclude this demonstration. So uh, firstly, thank you very much for your time um, and please enjoy the new features of the latest release of Threat Simulator. Thank you and goodbye.